Bruton, who will be Antonio Rodrigo Nogueira's opponent in the final matchup of the 2004 Pride Heavyweight Tournament. We're well, about to find out. Well, I can tell you this. He has the best entrance music that I've ever heard. This song is the greatest entrance music. Listen to this song. And we're talking, of course, about the Pride Heavyweight Champion, Fyodor Amelianenko. Wow, look at this. Okay, at home you can see this is how the fighter feels right now. Actually, not you don't feel, but this is what he sees when he walks up to the ring. He was a 1997 Russian Judo and Sambo champion, 1997 European Sambo champion, 2002 World Heavyweight Sambo champion, and the current Pride Heavyweight champion. Boss, he's undefeated in Pride at 7 and 0, 17 and 1 in his mixed martial arts career. As we said in the opening, he has won 15 fights in a row. And he is the prohibitive favorite in many people's eyes to win this tournament. Now, Pride Fighting Championships held a fan poll to determine the semifinal matchups. Over 20,000 fans voted to see this matchup. Emelianenko versus Naoya Ogawa. And that is why we are seeing these two decide the final participant of this, the biggest tournament in MMA history. Wow. What a show. Look at this picture. You see the huge crowd in attendance, Saitama Super Arena, every one of them captivated now by the Pride Heavyweight Champion. In this tournament, he took care of Team Hammerhouse. It was a symbolic passing of the torch in the first round when he submitted the 2000 heavyweight tournament champion, Mark the Hammer Coleman. And in the last round, he survived one of the most devastating two plays in MMA history at the hands of Kevin Randleman to come back and submit him as well. And now moving one step closer to one of the most anticipated rematches in MMA history, another shot and an opportunity to once again perhaps defeat Antonio Rodrigo Nogueira. That's who he beat for that belt that's around his weight right, waist right now. Yep. This is it, Mauro. I must break you. This is what's in your head right now, if you look at him, huh? By the way, if he does defeat Ogawa in this fight, the matchup with Nogueira will not be to unify the Pride Heavyweight Championship. It will be for a brand new belt. The 2004 Tournament Championship valued at over a quarter of a million dollars American. One of the reasons Saitama Super Arena is filled to its capacity tonight is because of this man. He has the hopes of an entire nation resting on his shoulders. Japanese judo legend, 1992 silver medalist at the Barcelona Olympics, Naoya Ogawa. Does he have a date with destiny or is he being a sacrificial lamb led to slaughter? <laughs> it's going to be silence of the lambs. I don't know, man. You never know. Anything can happen in a fight like this. One little mistake, and Fedor also can go down. I mean, Fujita, when he hit Fedor, Fedor was a little dizzy. You know, and that came from Fujita's hand. Bang! Bam! We've already seen a big surprise in this tournament. It began when Kevin Randleman handed Mirko Krokop his first knockout loss of his career. Granted, this would be a monumental upset. But there's a reason we hold the fights in the first place, Bothroon. Listen to this crowd. In the winning tournament, from Japan. Wow. The roof has just been blown off the Saitama Super Arena. Naoya Ogawa, who began judo in 1984 and just three short years later was the youngest world judo champion ever at 19 baht. That's unheard of. And maybe right now tonight he wants to do something else that in the eyes of many MMA fans and pundits is unheard of. He wants to knock off, without a doubt, 
the toughest heavyweight in the sport today in Fyodor Emelianenko. What is going through this guy's mind right now, Bathroom? I don't know. I surely hope not what else it says on his shirt. And that says, I'm chicken. I surely hope that he's not thinking about that right now because he needs to get everything in straight right now and focus because the guy, the man he has in front of him, He's a machine. Hey, boss, he showed up tonight. We know he's not chicken. He's taking on Fyodor Emelianenko. And by the way, Naoya Ogawa, just how important and how popular is he here in Japan? His match with Giant Silva at Critical Countdown set Pride's all-time ratings record with a 25.4 rating. Naoya Ogawa, Japan's favorite son, will try to advance to the tournament final here at Final Conflict 2004. And here I go again. You're nervous. Huh? Oh, there is definitely a nervous energy throughout Saitama Super Arena. Ogawa refusing to touch gloves with Emelianenko. Fight fans all over the world. This is the one they've been waiting for, Boss Rutten. Emelianenko versus Ogawa. It is underway. With the chance of Ogawa, Ogawa, Melianenko right away takes it to Ogawa. Left and right. Look at his hand. And Look he's got him. Look but at this. There's the balance by Emelianenko in full. Mount now, boss. Oh, this is danger. And, and, and that's what's going now in Ogawa, Ogawa's head. Ogawa has survived the initial onslaught. Whoa. Oh, my God. He's got it! He's gonna break it! He's, He's breaking the, the right way! It's perfect! He breaks it the right way, not the other side! It's beautiful! Oh god! It's beautiful! He's got it! And he forced the tap! Wow! Silver medalist Judo just got tapped and world champion by Fedor Emelianenko! Fedor Emelianenko defeats Naoya Ogawa! In 54 seconds, Boss Ogawa survived the initial onslaught, fell to the ground. Melianenko able to gain a top position, and from there, he snatched the armbar, submitting Ogawa. And the dreams of a nation were submitted as well. In two minutes and six seconds. No, 54 seconds. Less than a minute, Boss. Lesson. Wow, that's unbelievable. Needless to say, that Fedor goes really fresh to the finals to meet Antonio Nogueira there. Antonio has been in a war.